What's up, guys? This is going to be analysis for my subscriber, Crispy Smooth, who's playing Falco. This is Falco of Marth. Um, I'm analyzing one game from this set, and I'm going to analyze this game on Battlefield, which is the stage they struck to. Um, the only other option than this, well, I mean, not the only other option, but you guys normally just end up on uh, Battlefield or Yoshi's or FOD, but I, I feel like both people don't like FOD in this matchup, or not both people, but both characters. Um, and then Yoshi's is kind of being turned into a Falco sort of counter pick and Marths aren't liking it as much. They kind of enjoy the space of Battlefield a little bit more, even though the sign platforms are a little bit longer. Um, you have more room to set up lasers, um, but they have more room to bait you and stuff like that, and they can still get all their combos. So this is generally just known as like a pretty neutral stage in this matchup. Um, so let's check it out. You guys both start on the side platforms here. What I'd like to see is a drop down laser. I always talk about the openings, um, but Marth doesn't really have anything he can approach you with. Um, right off the bat, that would be able to hit you if you did that, so it'd be really good. You drop down, but no laser. Um, what I just want to point out really quick, and maybe this will be something that comes up later, is like any time you just land, you could have shot a laser, right? So like right here, you landed with the same amount of landing lag as if you had shot a laser, but you didn't. So you're like one beat behind because now you're shooting the laser. So you don't have the control anymore. You see where he is? He's not on the ground in laser stun. He's up here. Okay, approaching laser on the dashback was excellent. This is very, very good. Laser, bam. So what I love to do is um, laser Marths who nair like this, and something I've seen Mango do a lot too, is you laser Marth out of the air, and a lot of times they'll dash back after nairing. Or even you could make them whiff by dash dancing, they'll dash back after nearing a, a large majority of the time. Until they mix it up with like an up tilt or a forward smash, this laser is a very good mix up. And you tried for a shine grab, weren't directly on top of him, a little unfortunate, but that was a really nice idea from you. Jab dash away. I like everything that you're doing. I, I haven't said too much because I really like all of like the movement, the jab dash away was fine. Lower laser, though. Make sure that you uh, focus on shooting really low lasers against Marth. Otherwise, he could just crouch uh, power shield. Um, if you notice, his power shield um, box actually starts up over here. So it's actually above his head. So it's a disjointed, which makes this really easy to power shield. If you get it lower, you actually end up just hitting him right here. Or he at least can't power shield it. Sorry. You jump out of the power shield. Jab, grab. Nair? Not the best idea. I think maybe a forward air could have really helped you right here. Bam. I think that forward air definitely would have been good, especially if he was holding in but not STIing. Um, or like an up air could have been alright as well. But yeah, obviously kind of a tech flub from you there anyway. So it, leaves, it seems like um, you're very privy to grabbing, which is great. I'm, I'm loving this. Uh, could have gone a little bit faster after that up throw. I don't actually think he got DI to actually get out of this from comboing. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Dropping from top platform with laser. I like that too. I love how you're controlling the space. This is really nice. Just the position that you're putting yourself at. I don't love exactly what you're doing, like just back airing with a drift in like this, but this position being right here when Martha's in the corner is fantastic for eventually approaching if you want or backing off if you need to. Um, and then also just controlling this area right here. So that's great. And then, yeah, you have to be careful. When a Marth goes to side platform, you never want to be in direct center. Ever, ever. You never want to be right here. Being off center is fantastic because he can down air this space right here. But if you're anything past that, or forward air, right? Forward air would come across right over here. Um, if you're off center, you can whiff punish him very easily. Approaching laser, he doesn't air in place. A little unfortunate. I do like how you're trying to establish the control on the ground, though. Be careful doing all these jabs. Um, it is just kind of scary um, against Marth. Like instead, maybe just immediately go for the grab. Um, jab could be okay, especially if you catch him out in the air or dashing or like not holding down. But more and more Marths are holding down and just like kind of spamming grab. Again, the throw follow-ups don't look fantastic. And I don't think he's doing a good enough job to actually get out of these from like true comboing. And I think there was another jab grab. Again, this could have been... I, I think this... Was this a jab grab? If it was, it definitely could have been a shine grab. Yeah, definitely could have been a shine grab. Which is much, much, much safer. Way safer by a million years. Okay, establish lasers. Again, again. Shoot those low lasers. Let's just check this out. See how he's crouching below this? If you, He actually cannot power shield if you shoot the three lowest laser heights. Nice. Good job after the power shield laser, though. Okay, so I talked about this pretty recently, 
about how when I'm corner pressuring Marth, I really don't like to have my back turned to him a lot of the times because he can either shield grab it, um, shield grab your um, back air, or just out prioritize it with fair and nair. So you gotta be careful. I, I like setting up lasers and then going in th for things like, um, exactly, laser grab. Perfect. Perfect example of exactly what I wanted you to do. Unfortunate he did that. Nice try with the uh, double jump backwards. Up smash was a little uh, ambitious, I think, but it was okay. So these double lasers, you actually could have stuffed this down till if you shot the double lasers slightly lower. It didn't even look like it was that high, but um, you can get them low enough to hit both of them on a Crouching Marth, and it's not really that hard if you practice clawing your double lasers. Um, check out my video, uh, Top 5 20XX practice, practice Tips, and I go over um, how I like to practice that. Okay, drop down. Set up laser control. No, forward tilt. Good spacing, though. Nice job. I would have preferred you set up some laser control first, but that's okay. Nice. Side B top platform. Honestly, you were doing so much well. This is actually really, really good. Um, full hopping kind of randomly, which is unfortunate. You almost never really want to put yourself above Marth like this willingly. Like, yeah, that's super unfortunate. I'm sorry. Let me, let me see this neutral uh, interaction here. Laser, laser, again, shoot those low lasers. They're gonna help you so much against this Marth. Okay, back air, no. Okay, so uh, right here, it's a tough situation. I think that you should back air here, the more I think about it, back air and then drift forward. Um, you can get counter hit out of this really easily. The down air isn't gonna link into a combo, I think until around like 25%, like before the down air. Um, otherwise they could just jump away or attack before you can actually like really do anything, right? But that's okay. Okay, interesting, nice. Uh, the grab isn't like the, the best option right here. So consider forward smashing, what's set up for an edge guard right here. Uh, forward smashing with the reaction to the right, or you can run off shine and then wave land back on, run off shine, turn around, wave, la wave land back on. Um, you could also, um, dash attack would be okay, down air would be okay. Grab just doesn't yield as much of a guaranteed reward as like any of those things, you know what I mean? That was pretty nice. Um, this whole kind of sequence, the up tilt, you chase this air dodge, nice. I would have backed off a little earlier there. You definitely could have gotten double jump up air and just like completely reversal. Um, so be careful about that. It seemed like that moment while you were falling right next to him was a bit of hesitation from your end. Mm, I tried for the laser up smash a little too slow, maybe a, a little bit more hesitation as well. And now you're kind of above him again. You really gotta work your way um, onto the ground. It's tough like, can't just drop on him like that right there. I would like probably move side platform, come back down, but that's okay. Okay, so those were attempted like really low laser. You you laser jabbed him, which was okay, but you're still kind of put in the corner because he was holding down. Ledge dash, grabbed his shield, nice. Up throw, up air. Nice, really, really nice. He could have side beat right here and kind of um, ruined this back air from working, but he probably wasn't expecting you to go for this. So that was really nice. Good stuff. That was great. Definitely could have been a cleaner ledge dash. I like that you got your shield up. I like that you ledge dash. I like how you're mixing it in with the double lasers too. Especially now that you're recognizing where he's standing against you. So um, in general at low percents, you really want to uh, up throw Marth unless you're throwing him into the corner. Just keep that in mind. Could have gotten those lasers lower even. And yeah, right there, it was kind of just a weird scuffle situation because of the power shield of laser. You roll, jabbed, and he kind of just held down. So be careful jabbing so much again. It's really spooky against Marth. Lower lasers again would help you. Um, Marth dashing forward functions the same as Marth crouching. Um, so yeah, be, be careful about that. Jab, grab. You're a little slow on these, uh, these follow-ups off the grab. Up throw, down air, up tilt. I don't mind that combo. So, hmm. I think another down air. So you could have gotten reverse hit down air and maybe hit him on the, the top platform here or down air him onto this. But the up tilt wasn't like a terrible idea. It's just hard to follow up. Immediate nair instead of setting up for lasers. Grab ledge, back air. Okay, shine bear. Nice. Very, very, very solid. Okay, nice. He didn't cover that again. Shield push off. I like it. Set up lasers, please. You waited for him in that position. That was nice. I love how you laser laser back off. Really good. You position yourself off center. This is just fantastic. Um, you're doing everything I want you to do. 
He moves side platform, you move off center, set up laser control again, dash forward approaching laser to catch him moving back. It was great. Seems like maybe you're even grabbing a, a slightly too much on the whiff punish. Um, consider like nairing a little bit more often. It is a little bit scarier. Um, but or like jump shining. Like right here, you could have dash back, jump in, jump shine, or something like that. Because um, you're just barely too slow on all these follow ups off the grab. Both of these could have been um, text towards the, the edge of the platform. And then you could have, like right here, you could have teched over here. And then just slide off the eye this. Same thing with this, you could have teched over here. And I think she'll slide off the eye at this percent. I'm not 100% certain. But you are in a rough position. Set up some lasers right now. Yeah, nice. Okay, power shield though. Gotta shoot the lasers lower. Uh, it would help you so much. So, 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 so much. Because his whole thing right now is he's just trying to throw you off balance by power shielding your laser and getting you stuck. Approaching laser, he power shields it again. Let me just see this one more time. Yeah, he dashed forward. Dash forward's the same function as the crouch, too. Um, all right. Well, in summary, you did so many things well. I love that you're privy to grabbing, like I said. I think that your up throw follow-ups could use a lot of work, though. You probably grabbed him, like, seven or eight times. I think you got a follow-up, like, maybe once. Um, and he did not, like, SEI way too high for you to get anything. And then your sharking could have been a little bit better maybe after those things, too, but you committed pretty hard. There was the SD at the beginning, and that was really unfortunate. Um... And there were a couple times where you gave up the ground to kind of randomly full hop. Uh, those could have been just like tech skill errors, but that's definitely not what you want to do against Marth. Controlling the ground is really good. And the way that you pushed him to the corner and used aggressive lasers to call out his backwards movement was so, so good. Um, keep that up. Um, consider <laughs> consider forward throwing Marth a little bit more often when you're by the ledge, by the way, too. Um, you were up throwing almost exclusively. Um, also consider using grab a little bit less on the whiff punishes, especially at low percent. Um, at low percent, you're not, you're not going to get as much off of your grabs. Um, so you can do things like late nair, uh, jump shine, right? Um, all those things would be good. Also, I think that you could have forced the issue in the corner a little bit more. Like he'd be standing right here and you'd be standing right here. I think you could have aggressed on him a little bit more than you did. Um, you played a little too conservatively once you had already established a position of power. Um, which is okay in certain instances, but you were playing kind of from behind, so you had to make some things happen occasionally. And also, I think that Marth has really limited mix-ups once you actually go on him in the corner and establish some sort of control. Um, but all in all, I think that you played pretty well. I think the power shields really hurt you. I think not converting off of, um the uh grabs really hurt you as well because those were your main openings right all of your openings were grabs but you weren't doing anything with your main openings um so if you just increase your punish game maybe uh like improve the platform tech chases slightly too like you grabbed him instead of forward smashing that could obviously really help as well um your ledge play is like almost there you're getting ledge dashes but you're only ledge dash shielding and like you're getting low lasers but they could be like slightly lower to catch like marth crouching right so like small refinements to your game i think could go a long way um, all in all, you didn't hesitate very often either, um, but there were a couple instances where you did. So just having more situational awareness, just grinding a little bit more often, I think it helped us a lot as well. Um, but yeah, if you have any clarifying questions, feel free to ask. I'd love to have a discussion with you about it. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all later. All right, peace. Mm -hmm.